Hello, and welcome to this edition of Just Brick It. Today, we'll be building a LEGO bandsaw. Let's put a bit better view of this. There it is. There is the LEGO bandsaw. Now, it could stand to be maybe a brick higher, so if you agree with that summation, you can adjust your construction accordingly. Uh, I believe that this is with an acceptable minifigure scale tolerances, so I'm choosing to leave it like this. Um, also, because what you'd be extending it with uh, would basically be you need another, in case you want to do that, another two by two, or a one by two uh, sand green brick. Uh, and then also, I would use um, at least, well, no, probably a 1x4 brick for the blade here. So, without further ado, let's actually kind of, yeah, it's a little bit better angle, I think, to look at here. Actually, let's go through the pieces first. Uh, I am using the LEGO Digital Designer program that can be downloaded from the LEGO website. Uh, I uh, stellar reviews, in my opinion. This is a, a wonderful program. It, it does have its uh, limitations, uh, but by and large, uh, I have enjoyed it very much. Uh, nothing beats you know the using the physical product itself and creating that way. But when that is for some reason unavailable, or you need a different color, or you want to mock something up, but you don't have the parts on hand. Lego Digital Designer can help fill that gap. Uh, it has been instrumental in my Lego designing, uh, and I hope that maybe it will be in yours too. So, uh, one benefit of the program is when you click on a piece, you get a part number, you get a part name, you get a color number, you get a color name. Uh, I've decided to use gray pieces to symbolize uh, well, not symbolized, but to represent metal parts of this machine. Uh, well, actually, they're probably all metal. Uh, but the um, housing of this machine, uh, I decided, looked best in a sand green. Uh, that was the approximate color of the bandsaw in my wood shop uh, when I went to high school. Took wood shop many years ago. Uh, so I've decided to sort of recreate it here. So, to do this, we need one 2x4 plate. Uh, you're going to need one 1x4 one brick, two 2x2 two bricks, a 1x2 flat tile, a 2x2 two two flat tile, a 1x2 radiator grill, a 1x3 plate, uh, another 1x2 tile, uh, this one being green as you can see as opposed to the other one which was gray, that's to you know represent the metal versus the metal of the, the work surface versus the metal of the housing. So, yeah. Two 1x4 flat tiles, one 2x4 flat tile, a 1x1 brick, a 1x1 round plate, and 10 of these one by one brick uh, with one knob. I do have them facing different directions. That's to just kind of make the construction a little bit easier. Um, just kind of to remember for me where things go when building this. Uh, you can print out instructions for this program uh, after you've built something. Uh, I did not print out these instructions, so here we go. All right. Well, 
we use this 2x4 as a base. We'll put the 1x4 on the back side there. Grab two of these 1x1s with a knob. We'll have them pointed out to the to our left-hand side of the structure here. And we'll put this radiator grill plate on it. Uh, so that's there to vent heat from the motor to prevent it from overheating. Uh, next, and we'll take um, these one by two pieces, stick that on the bottom, and finish off that layer. Uh, then we will have one by two all the way on that back end. Now we're, we're working our way up uh, toward the top of the machine here. Put uh, one by one brick on the far side of that. And then we have another one by one brick, this one with a knob on the near side of that rear column. We'll put our, what, what I'm calling our on off switch there. Uh, you can choose to think that it's whatever you want to believe that it is. You know? um, now we will take our one by two flat tile, stick that on there. Uh, sorry, that was our 2x2 two two flat tile. And then we'll take our 1x2 flat tile, place it on there as well. So, this is where it does get, I admit, a little tricky. Uh, because these pieces are held together by the casing, so I can't continue to build on the structure itself. We'll actually have to build the remainder of this uh, and then put it on top of the structure. So, here is how it goes. I'm going to take these two one by ones, not on top of each other, and put them next to each other with the uh, knobs facing to the left there. I'm going to take these three one by one pieces. Have those knobs facing the right side. We'll put them back to back with those. Um, I should turn a little bit there. Yeah. So that is one of the downfalls to this program. Is it? It's not. It's pretty good with the intuition on where you want to line things up, but every now and then it gets really hard to place something. But by and large. It's pretty good. Usually if you turn your angle, you can kind of get it to go where you want. There we go. All right. So you should have three of these one by ones with a knob on the left side, four of them on the right. Uh, the front two in each group should be facing forward, while the remaining ones in each group should be facing to the outside. Uh, now here's how we're going to keep all this together. I'm going to take this 2x4, snap it on there, and then we'll take the whole assembly. And we'll place it on there. Um, all right, next we'll take the blade. It's a one by three. Stick that on there, and then we will cover the casing on the front. And then these other two one by four pieces will go on the sides to uh, complete the casing and to finish hiding the blade. And there we go. There is our Lego bandsaw to 
minifigure scale. Uh, if you liked this video, give me a big thumbs up down at the bottom. Uh, if you want to see more, you can always subscribe to my channel. I try to put out content uh, regularly, uh, this being my first foray into the YouTube producers universe. I don't know how regularly I will be able to get content out, but uh, I will make an effort to do that. Um, if you want to see the rest of the Lego wood shop, uh, check out my channel. The video for that is there. I have a tour of the shop and I have uh, instructional videos on how to create the tools found in the shop. All right, well, thank you for watching and brick on.